Hello friends, here is Ajay Android Tech Solutions and today in this video I am going to show you how can we launch an EC2 instance and configure a Apache web server in it. The LAMP server, Linux Apache MySQL PHP server in it. So first of all I will log into my dashboard and I am here in my dashboard and I will click on services, I will click on EC2. I'll just click on launch instance and I'll go, I'm going to use this Amazon Linux 2 instance and I'll set the instance family to t2.micro and storage I'll set it to default according to your usage you can increase or decrease the size of storage I'll add a tag and name it as my web server and I'll create a new security group called web server I'll name it as my web server and I'll add a rule I'll add a rule of HTTP which works on 80 number ports as we are configuring a web server in our instance so we have to allow 80 number port from the security group I'll click on review and launch and things look good I'll click on launch I have to, I'll create a new key pair I'll name it as my web server I'll download the key pair and I'll just click on launch instance So instance is launching. Okay, so my instance is launched and I have the public IP address. I'll go ahead and SSH to my instance. So I'm using Linux, so I'll open my terminal. If you are using Windows, if you are a Windows user, you must open your putty to SSH to your instance. If you don't know how to SSH to your instance using Putty, so I've given a link in the description, you can refer that link. I'll do SSH EC2 hyphen user at the rate and the IP address of my instance, and after that the path of the key pair file. My web server. So it is showing an error of permission okay so I'll change the permission to 400 downloads and my web server now I'll try to SSH it again yeah I'm inside the instance I'll run sudo su to become the root user after that I'll run yum update yum update hyphen y to update all the packages in this instance after that I'll install httpd yum install httpd this is the package which is responsible for creating Apache server in Linux. Okay, after that I'll install, like we have installed the Apache, means that our web server is now, uh, web server software we have installed. Now we are going to install our MySQL server. So here in Linux we have MariaDB, instead of MySQL we have MariaDB. I'll install two packages, yum install MariaDB and MariaDB server. Now I'll install few modules of uh, PHP, okay, like uh, if you have to create a dynamic website, so you will be uh, installing PHP and uh, like uh, PHP or and various modules, 
so like I'm going to install two modules one is I have installed PHP and PHP MySQL okay if you want to know what are the modules present so you can run this command m search PHP so this will list all the modules like we have installed this one PHP which is like for creating uh, scripting language for creating dynamic websites after that we have installed PHP MySQL which is a module of for PHP application that uses MySQL database now we are going to configure our MySQL server okay MariaDB server so to do that I'll start the service of MySQL which is system CTL start MariaDB and I'll enable the service after that I'll run my SQL underscore secure underscore installation okay after that it is asking for the current root password so we haven't set any root password so I'll just hit enter and it's asking do you need to set a root password I'll press yes and I'll set a root password remove anonymous anonymous user yes disallow root login remotely yes remove test databases and access to it yes reload yes okay so our MySQL server has been configured successfully now I'll start the service of Apache and the service is HTTPD and I'll enable the service and after that I'll go to cd slash where triple w html and in this folder in this directory you can put your website content your code, your website code, your PHP, HTML, index.html, all, all, all other stuff you can put over here. Okay, like I'm creating a index.html, index.php file. Okay, so that I can show you that we can run dynamic content also in our server. And here I'll run uh, PHP, PHP info and I'll close this I'll write and quit from this file and I'll go to the AWS console and here I'll copy the public IP address and I'll open a new tab so here you can see I have run php info in the uh, my, in our code index.php file and here you are able to see the php file okay so it, it, it seems everything is configured okay to verify that my sql is connected or not so here you can see my sql is connected if my sql would not have been connected so you here would you would get an error or my sql would be not present over here okay so we have successfully launched a ec2 instance and we have configured a lamp stack lamp server a web server in our ec2 instance now you can put your code inside the where triple w html and you can run your websites and you can access it your with your public ip address or your public domain name with both of them either from public ip address or from uh, this uh, this public dns i can access my website so thank you guys for watching this video to like this video and subscribe to my youtube channel